what diet are you doing if it fits your macros? To be honest, I eat pretty clean. A few of you guys have noticed that. I eat potatoes, rice, mince. I don't really eat fatty foods. I mean, the only thing I've been eating lately is a, uh, a croissant with chocolate in it. I bought them from Lidl's the other day, a pack of 10 of them, so I've been trying to get rid of them. Uh, I have one of them a day, they're 200 calories, so I guess you could say, yeah, if it fits your macros, I do. Um, although I don't specifically go out and binge, you know, I haven't actually cheated on my diet since I started it, and for me, that's pretty good. <laughs> Bearing in mind, I eat a Mars bar and a Snickers, no, a Snickers bar, the king size one, every single day while I was bulking. So, uh, yeah, it was, um, I don't know, I'm not really reverse dieting, uh, or if it fits your macros, I'm just, I eat what I feel like, you know, if I eat, feel like eating white rice that's plain, a few of you guys, you know, say, oh man, that's so plain, that's bro meal, but I actually enjoy eating it, you know, I actually can sit there and enjoy eating that. If I eat something that's really high in like a sugar content now, I suppose it, it always made me feel a bit sick anyway. I've always been the one of those people that I can't eat too much chocolate, but I can eat a certain amount of it. If I eat too much, I feel sick. And I'm not talking about a whole bar of big dairy milk caramel, you know, when you get from the Cadbury factory. I'm talking about just a, a one that you can pick up off the shelf. I'm sorry I'm dragging this video on a bit, I don't know why. Right, let's get straight into the Facebook page. Right, I asked yesterday Q&A Sunday tomorrow, ask your questions here, all you sexuals. So, why do I get an erection when I'm watching uh, an eight hour erection after watching the Swole Bros video? I just do Ben Sexy, Nadine's ugly, but that's what it is. I'm just joking, Nadine, I love you really. Uh, hey Dan, what do you rekindle that fire <laughs> the gym when you're feeling demotivated. This is actually for my buddy Ben. He actually goes to the gym. Uh, he works in the gym where I'm at. Um, and he is a very, very strong guy for his size. I think he's about five foot five. I'm not gonna, hopefully I don't get him wrong. I'm sorry, Ben. Uh, but he said, what do, you, what do you do to rekindle that fire in the gym when you get feeling demotivated? Um, it's kind of hard, you know, to answer that because I'm, and a very early morning person. By the time I come to the evening, if I trained in the evening, I'd be very demotivated uh, because in the evenings, that's my time of really chilling it out. I'm one of these early morning people. I wake up at the crack of dawn, if you will, and my energy's up here. You know, I don't need anything. I can don't have to drink coffee. You know, I'm up here. If I and all the way through the day, I'm high, 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 and then it comes to the evening, and I don't crash, but I just slowly come down, and I can still be really active at 10 o'clock at night, and then half past 10 I'd be boom out like a light um, so demotivated in the gym I just think well I do YouTube videos so if I'm starting to feel demotivated I'm not making progress I look back at some of my old videos um, or my old progress photos and go okay yeah I am making results now I'm motivated again I sometimes think you know what I haven't made any results for the last oh, two months and I look back at the photos or I look back at the videos I'm like you know what yeah that's right and one thing that does keep me motivated, and this is not me being cheesy, although it's gonna sound like it, is you guys. Because every single day I wake up with nice messages from you guys, I wake up from, you know, you guys have me on Facebook, you always like, like my actual statuses, even though many people, I don't actually post a great deal on my, uh, of fitness related stuff on my actual personal Facebook. Uh, but you guys, you know, you like my statuses and it, you comment to me and things like that And that is what fuels me to keep going If I didn't have this YouTube based thing, then I'm pretty sure that I would have lost motivation a long time ago So, um, yeah Any advice on starting weightlifting like avoid this and that? Uh, the only thing I would avoid is Following people's advice To an extent don't listen to every old Joey in the gym if someone Lift with caution, okay? If something doesn't look right, it's usually not right, if that's what I can put it to. Lift with good form, okay? Um, look at some of, if you if you really want some tips, okay, you wanna get into weightlifting, look at some Matthew Ogus videos, uh, Chris Jones videos, those guys lift with extremely good form. Especially Matt Ogus, look at his deadlifting. His technique is flawless. You could nigh on say that it's perfect. His overhead press, I think he's pressing like 190 pounds or maybe more than that if I'm not correct. With clean form for repetitions, you know. So people like that are, are people to learn from, you know, because they have come from somewhere where they have done stuff wrong and learnt from it and applied those principles and progressed with it. So um, all I can say is learn from the greats, if you will. Um, you know, don't, if you want to get into weightlifting, just be careful with what you are doing. Don't go in there 
with an ego, like some people do, um, and think you know everything. Always uh, keep an open mind. Remember, you're always going to be learning something. You heard the term, you learn something new every day. Well, that is true. There is not a day gone past where I haven't learned something new, whether it be on the computer, whether it be in the gym, whether it be something to do with just daily activities. There's always something that you can learn. So um, just keep an open mind, lift carefully, um, and if it seems too good to be true, it usually is. And don't fall for the, uh, oh, you're gonna gain 30 pounds of muscle in the first six months, because that's not gonna happen, unless you take some serious amount of steroids. This question is on the Facebook page. It says, yo, honky. Man, that's some seriously racist shit. Dude, man, you can't be bringing that shit towards me. I'm only joking, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> man, he's white too. No, I don't care. Look, listen, this is my view. If you want to be racist towards me, be racist towards me. If you want to be racist towards others, fuck you, okay? I'm okay. If you want to call me a honky man, it doesn't bother me, okay? Even if you are not my nationality, not my race, it doesn't bother me, you know? You call me whatever the fuck you want to call me, man. I want people to feel comfortable when they're talking to me. Just don't get too offensive, man. I know I've got big teeth and I know I've got bushy eyebrows. You don't need to get into all that kind of hurtful shit, all right? I'm joking. Right, he says that he's been doing heavy compound movements, uh, but he's only been doing one to two sets of them, and then the three other sets, he's been doing hyper hypertrophy sets. Now, he says, what do I think of this? And then he does accessory hypertrophy work. Um, he says, do you think this is a good idea? To be honest, you know, I'm, I'm going to give you my honest opinion now. I would focus heavy compound movements with strict form, then I would worry about accessory movements because the compound movements are what going to get you the results. That is it. That's all you need to know. The compound movements are there to provide you with the results. As long as you are eating in a caloric surplus, you will gain results. Unless you are new to the gym, then you will get results pretty much regardless. I don't take my advice on that. So, say for instance on bench press, do you know the four or five sets of whatever it may be on your flat bench press for five by five or whatever program you are running then worry about hypertrophy stuff. <clears throat> the compound movements are what's gonna get you results. The hypertrophy stuff is just gonna be accessory work. That is all there is to it. Um, but if you wanna go and do you know, five sets of bench press, three sets of flyers, and a couple of sets of push-ups, that's a perfectly good bit of accessory work to add to the compound movements. So uh, that is my opinion on it. But this question, guys, he wants to know, when is it time to add weight to your deadlift? I've seen to be going up slowly before my form fails and then I deload back down again to correct it, getting pretty bad. My squat is only 5K off my deadlift due to all these setbacks. Okay, so this was one problem. I had a huge problem with deadlifting. When I was um, running the program where I was kind of doing my maximum effort every single week, I was trying to add weight to the bar uh, and just trying to clean up my form as I went along, but it didn't work like that. The mechanics wasn't there um, and things just wasn't falling into place. So when you, can say for instance, your one rep max is 200 pounds. Let's just say for instance, 200 pounds deadlift is your one rep max. Until you can pull that one rep max, fast off the ground woof, straight up without any setbacks without until it becomes easy for you then there's time to add weight to the bar if you can perform 90 percent of your body weight for two to three repetition 90 percent of your one rep max to one to two repetitions then it's time to add weight to your one rep max but the only time you should be really training your one rep max is if you are trying maximum effort work you shouldn't be trying it every week like i did that is the biggest mistake that i made so just live with care, as I've said before, um, and just make sure that the reps that you're doing at the moment are clean, fast, and effective, and then progress with the weight then. What I expect while wearing a sexual Tyrannosaurus t-shirt, maximum gains, 10 pounds of muscle in the first week, 20 pounds of muscle in the first month, uh, and about 60 pounds of muscle in the first year. True story.